And as it says, hello, this is a hello from Dr. Ashton. Here I am, Dr. Ashton. And this uh, slideshow is for students who are thinking about the course, or probably by now you've all registered for the course. Uh, but one of the things I feel I should do is give you a very good overview of what's going to happen in the course, and maybe you might want to rethink whether or not you want to stay in the course. And uh, if you drop the course soon, you can drop without a W, or up until the 19th of June, you can uh, drop with a W. So let's uh, think about uh, these issues as I introdu introduce the course to you. So there's a lot of positives about an online course. First off, there's no commuting, there's no coming in. Second of all, you have a very flexible schedule. Uh, as long as you study and work regularly, uh, you can do it at pretty much any time you want. Also, from a, a professor's perspective, there's more focus uh, on, you know, we're more focused on studying rather than being in class and all of the issues about, you know, uh, classroom discipline or people coming in late. And also, we really do need to focus on collaboration in online courses, uh, that is, working together. And we have to do that more than we do in in-person in courses. So those are all benefits of an online course. There are certain requirements. Uh, you need to have computer access. Uh, you need to have a good, fast computer. Uh, if you could watch uh, you know, YouTube videos, uh, if you can check Facebook, and everything works well, then you have a pretty fast computer and that's going to be okay. But if your computer, like, you know, you know, takes a long time to upload or download a video or do whatever, then you may not have the computer, uh, you know, equipment that you need. Uh, also, you need to have a place to study. Uh, the computer that you share with your family in the living room may not be the, the best place to do this. Uh, you need to have computer awareness. I'm going to have to tell you basic things like you need to, uh, you know, cut and paste this URL into the address bar, and you need to know the basics about computers so that you're able to do that. Uh, you need to have study skills. Uh, you need to know how to structure your learning environment on your own, and you need to have time management. Uh, I'm not going to be there to remind you uh, every two days when we meet in class, for example, that this is going to come up. It's going to be due, and if you do it, you do it, and if you don't, you don't. Also, one of the things I would like you to do for this class is I'd like you to buy a headset, a computer headset, uh, with the headphones and the microphone. Uh, I am going to be experimenting this semester on meeting with the wiki groups uh, you know, online, and so one of the things you'll need is the headphones and the microphone. This pair uh, which works perfectly fine, is from Radio Shack, and it's like $10. Okay, the requirements of a summer course. Uh, they're, you know, accelerated. Uh, if we were meeting in person, we would meet for one hour and 25 minutes of class four days a week. So I'm expecting that you're going to be putting in that amount of time plus study time each day in the class. Now, Every two days in a summer class with the extended uh, schedule, that equals one week of classes in the normal semester. So that gives you an indication of how often you need to log in every two days. Uh, I would expect that you log in and work several times a day on the computer. And this is nothing negotiable. If you're unable or unwilling to do that, then you are not going to do well in this online course. And I would strongly urge you to drop it. There are other students who would like to take this course, and if you drop it uh, before the semester begins, they can sign up. So I've gone over the basics, uh, what to do uh, next. Uh, you could look at the Start Here page, which has some basic material uh, about you know, where to start in the course. Uh, you can listen to the video welcome message, which goes over the syllabus. You can actually look at the syllabus. Uh, you can look at the assignments, uh, you know, uh, especially under uh, course content and the wiki project. You could look at that. 
And if you have any questions or interested in what's going on, you can go to the discussion board. You can go to office hours. And then you can also go to the student lounge to see if anybody's uh, been posting anything there. So uh, I hope you make a good decision. And if you decide to be in the course, I look forward to working with you this semester. Bye-bye. And there's one more slide I forgot about. Here's a picture of me and Floss at the park last year. Okay, take care.